right, Kev. If you need him to be a true floor general, he can do that in spurts. And if you need him to be a score first offensive catalyst, that's his sweet spot. First one falls for him. Well, as long as the Lakers have a healthy Anthony Davis, RJ, they will be a factor, won't they? Yes, this is why they traded so much to New Orleans to get him, Kev. AD is a top five guy in the league when he is healthy. Davis can dominate on both ends, and it is rare to see that. Now here's LeBron. Pass to Russell. Screen by James. The three. Russell, no luck. And that's when they say you can't teach tall. This is where size helps you, owning those rebounds on the defensive end. Here's Lilly. Inside. And to Takumbo. And a missed layup. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. And so it's Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Pass to James. Puts up a three. Here's Prince. Outside, James. Davis with it. Now guarded by Middleton. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Goes up again. Down to five on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. And it's Davis finishing it off. It's so hard trying to keep Davis off the glass. He's just so big, so strong, and has the athleticism. Oats it up for Davis. The line has stuffed the alley-oop. And it's just so beautiful. The timing of that play is exceptional. Davis just gets there right on time and puts it in. Down low. Lopez. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. From deep, James. Eyes again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. What I like about AD is that he uses everything at his disposal. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Oh, Kevin, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, but the playoffs require adjustments. And that chess match is where they hope to improve. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Out to the wing. It's James atop the key. Side Davis, and he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. This quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's James. Pass to Davis. Six on the shot clock. And bringing that effort. On both ends. Giannis, a tall, wily guy who forces you to take tough shots. One ten left in the first. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. Good on the shot. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Here's Lillard. He has yet to score. To the middle. Here's onto Takumbo. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship around L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Wow. Well, what, do you have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> And here's LeBron outside. Kept alive. Here's Davis. And finished off by Anthony Davis. I'm sorry. It's just so much fun watching AD play that way with that type of power around the rim. To the paint. Here's Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. LeBron outside, and stolen by Lillard. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. And that drops, so they now lead by one. I think what makes Giannis special is how uncomplicated he is. The man is just an incredible, pure athlete who simply loves the game of basketball. That's all there is to it. Giannis under the Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Bucks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? What we saw in that first quarter, they won their matchups defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. They trail by one. James. It's rebounded by Portis. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Takes it down to Middleton. Over in the corner, Portis. A three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Frank, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. <laughs> yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. There's the three. And another three for Milwaukee. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure to force turnovers and get steals. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. This Lakers franchise, of course, has a lot of championships, but they know that nothing's given. Coach Darvin Ham said that that ring and them banners don't come if you ain't on your thing. You've got to be focused and make every day count. Talking about championship, championship. At some point, the lip service gets old. You've got to go do it. Kevin, back to you. Got to go do it. He's all about action. David, thank you. Milwaukee leading by five. Lillard outside. Outside Portis. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Portis has got eight here in the quarter. And a great look. Lillard always looking for teammates. Doesn't have tunnel vision. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Crowder. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. 
Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He's still got a good outcome. Crowder with the steal. And it's the Bucks on the break. And Damian Lillard throws it down hard. Oh! Is Dane trying to get in the dunk contest? Look like it on that incredible finish. Wherever Jay Crowder goes, Richard, his teams compete for title. What does he give them? The word you use, Ken, was compete. Crowder doesn't take one possession off. A two-way player. And Jay's been to the finals with multiple different teams. That's not easy to do. Here's LeBron. James absorbing hits on the drum. A monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. And the wide open shot from Crowder. And another three for Milwaukee. And they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. Yeah, the D is looking helpless to stop them right now. They're doing whatever they want to do on offense. Two minutes remaining. Giannis inside. Two minutes. To the inside. <laughs> Giannis rips it down. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. And it's LeBron missing. And he continues to cast away. But the results just haven't been there tonight. Every aspect of Giannis's game showing tonight just unreal. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Pass to Crowder. Wide open look. And that one goes long. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Here's Davis. The shot, no good. Good D by Giannis. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. He's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. I don't know that anyone covers as much ground in one or two strides as Giannis. Pass to Christie. Back to James. Puts up a deep three. He can't get that one to fall. Here's Giannis. And big men aren't supposed to move that well in the open floor. Uh, that's a big reason Giannis earned the name the Freak. Looking to get it going. Great power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Shoots over Hachimura. Can't hit from 12. And so it's Milwaukee in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clapping down on LeBron James, and their game plan is working. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Middleton looking it over. Giannis up top. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Middleton left side. Beasley with a clean look. That three off the mark. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Bucks leading by 16. Inside. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Davis. Milwaukee shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And team stats last season, 74% shooting. So some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. They can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. And Richard, when you played with LeBron in 2017, did you think he'd still be elite all these years later? That man has had a two-decade-long prime, Greg. I had no idea how much longer this guy's going to be able to do it. But with LeBron, it's just different. His longevity is special. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, thank you, Kevin. Giannis Adentacupo remains so consistent. He said, I want to get to the position that my game is boring. People don't talk about it because I do it every single night, but I don't get bored. The greats, the best players, never get bored. They always give their best every given night, and that's my mindset. Kevin? Oh, DA, I love it. Thank you so much for the report. the second half of play we're just over a minute in James Wood sets a screen back to LeBron offline with his three Milwaukee leading by 13 the offensive rebound second shot opportunity and it's on to Kumbo with the bucket inside yeah, boy, the length of Giannis to get to the miss and then the offensive ability to do damage afterward. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. That is how you deny entry. Great effort. Scooped up. Just five to shoot. The second chance effort. He goes up again. The wide open look here for Lopez. No good on the triple. Lakers trail by 15. Pass to Russell. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Back to LeBron. Rebound, Milwaukee. They led by as many as 18 points. Outside, Green. To the paint. Here's Lopez. Misses from close range. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Here's Giannis. Good D by James. And here is Los Angeles now. 15 point game. And James throws it down hard. Oh, okay. I guess LeBron wanted that one to sting a little. He put a little extra on that one. Right there. 
Lillard surveying the D. Out of bounds. And out of bounds is the Lakers gain possession. And the Lakers making a change here. The timeout called the Bucks. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Six left in the third quarter. And a deep three from Russell. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Bucks leading by 13. Pass to Lillard. Back to Giannis. Kicks it down to Middleton. Back to Giannis. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Davis. And how about the attack there from Giannis inside, going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. No good on that one. And he can't hit the second. Lakers trail by 13. Prince, right side. Outside, Russell. Davis sets a screen. Russell, left side. Outside for Davis. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the deep. Los Angeles shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. There is no question Davis is a top 10 talent in this league when healthy. But unfortunately, he's dealt with several injuries throughout the years. And it's Crowder, top of the key. Back to Giannis. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. Giannis will take on any defender. Nice finish that time. And the rejection by Giannis. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Here's Lillard. Middleton on the wing. The kick out to Lopez. And so it's Milwaukee with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Come on, everyone. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Lakers. They trail by 14. Down low. And the dunk by Hachimura. And that's impressive mobility there. Hachimura is tough to stay with given how quick he rolls in these sets. Lillard with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Screen by Antetokounmpo. From the top of the key, he buries it. 
And the Bucks lead by 14. You won't find too many players with a better understanding of the pick and roll than Lillard. He runs that set to a tee. In the foul called on Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. First team foul. And Lillard gets double teamed. Pass to Antetokounmpo. The jump hook. Here's Lopez. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And I know this coaching staff loves seeing Lopez play a physical brand of basketball, even if it means he has to take a few knocks here and there. Lakers trail by 16 to the middle. Here's Davis. Good D by Lopez. Lillard outside. A shot by out of the Kubo. Nobody around. No good that time. Hey, look, I'm not going to lie here. That's a shot that he needs to be making. There are no excuses. Los Angeles making a switch here. 